Um, hello, everyone who's here or watching virtually. I'm Lara Linnick, the person who has been inundating your email boxes for the past week or so. Um, I am really excited to join the team here at Montclair Film, and I'm excited to get to meet more of our volunteers and we're spending a lot of time together in the next couple of months. Just a sentence or two about myself. I've lived in the area for um, around 12 years. My background in publishing, but in recent years while I'm living here, I got involved in working in the local nonprofit scene. So, um, for example, I worked with Advanced Lock House Gardens and the Montclair Foundation, where I got, did get to work on a lot of our fundraisers with you know, volunteers, which is a slightly smaller um, initiative than we have here at Montclair Film. But it was great. I'm really looking forward to this festival. So, as, um, as most of you probably know, this year's festival, the 2022, is our 11th festival, and the dates are October 21st through October 30th. In the past year here, um, we returned to in-person events. We reopened 505 after Hurricane Ida and flooding. Our, we had a very thriving adult and student education program, a lot of community programming that a lot of our volunteers helped support. Um, we did our outdoor summer series screenings where we had screenings this summer at the Anderson Park, Oakdale Park, and Blackburn Plaza. And that's something we look forward to doing again next summer. We reopened the Claridge under Mount Therapy Management just about a year ago. We are gearing up for the film festival. So, in addition to being part of this great event, um, which is very rewarding for those of us that work here as well as our volunteers, there are some additional perks that some of you may know about, but I'll go through them. Um, you receive the, the official 2022 volunteer t-shirt. Um, it's mine, it's going to be revealed soon. Um, Invited to our volunteer appreciation party, which takes place following the festival and other events throughout the year. There is a free one year Montclair Film membership, a renewal for any volunteers who are already members, for, every, for 12 hours of work during this year's festival. And those hours don't just start on October 21st, they it includes any hours volunteered. For our kids' art poster hanging, which you also have that one of the emails probably. Um, and if anybody still wants to get started getting those hours, we program um, on Saturday, um, as well as our catalog distribution, which will be taking place on October 1st. Next slide. You also will receive a volunteer movie voucher for every three theater shifts that are worked during the festival. So these can be released film for fifteen dollars or less during the festival, or at any film being shown at the Claridge through the end of the year. These will be added directly to your account using the email that address that you use to access Shipboard, and the cost of the ticket will be deducted. Next, so we met a bunch of people have asked me about is our volunteer COVID requirements. So who we are is that we on their film highly recommends all volunteers be fully vaccinated and boosted against COVID-19 for your own safety as well as the safety of everybody else. Masks are required at all times indoors and the same requirements are being tested for those of us that just talk as volunteers. Next slide. And use that we will be at during the festival. First, we have the Claridge where things will be shown, movies will be shown every day during the festival. 
online theater where we'll be having opening weekend, um, opening night and opening night events, as well as exciting screenings the rest of that weekend. Montclair Kimberly Academy, the upper campus, which is just we will be there for both weekends. And JPAC, uh, we will have our fundraiser on Friday, October 28th. And some of you might have seen the announcement today that Stephen Colbert will be interviewing Daniel Craig. So it's uh, exciting. Yeah. exciting we just announced today. And then our new neighbor, Port of Montclair, next door, we will be having our film. Next slide. So there are different types of volunteer opportunities that we can tell you about during the festival. The first is our general theater operations. These, this, in all of our theaters, all, all of the theaters that are showing films, um, we need volunteers to manage the lines, scan tickets, answer guests' questions, distribute pins that are part of our pin program, which, you know, attendees bring them into local businesses that are our partners or sponsors they receive a special perk so people love getting those and to distribute our catalogs which are the guides and here you may be asked to help guests with our new electronic voting system and if this is something that you're asked to do the venue manager will train you ahead of time and someone will be there to answer any questions that you as volunteers may have while you few other things to keep in mind about volunteering. Please arrive 15 minutes before your shift. Wear your volunteer shirt and uh, comfortable shoes. At home, bring a snack and a little drink. Check in when you get there with your venue manager or the assistant venue manager to see what they need you to do and sign in on the sign-in sheet so that you can give credit for the hours and shifts that you're working. You can be out set up and venue breakdown and what and please do not plan to see the movie when you're working a shift. There are a couple of other teams where um, there are, will be a team leader and I'll introduce you to these to the team leaders after we go through this. But the one is our niche marketing, which is a great opportunity. It's something that it's an opportunity to volunteer virtually during the festival and it's email to online groups. It involves doing the research to find local audiences for each film based on the subject matter, um, just the film's niche. So that's one opportunity. Next. Operations and event production. This team is involved in setting up and breaking down different venues. Um, it's a little bit more of a physical opportunity, uh, responsibility. So there might be some climbing and hanging things or heavy lifting. So that's something to consider before signing up or trying to sign up for that team. And just assisting the venue managers and event managers as you Merchandise. So this is an opportunity. We'll have a merchandise. Our merchandise is sold by the box office. So merchandise volunteers will be working with our box office representative. And so Responsibilities would include setting up the merchandise as well as helping customers finding sizes, showing them the different offerings. So, anyone who wants to volunteer for this would need to have your own clean and safe vehicle. Bring up directors or special guests from airports or New York City to bring them to our events driving directors and special guests to and from events and at the venues and to their hotels. In order to be considered for this opportunity, you have to be 20, at least 25 years old and have a valid driver's license and insurance and for strong. So for this, we ask that we speak with people who have some professional photography experience as well as their own cameras and equipment. Photos that you take that would be taken at our screenings and events would need to be uploaded within 24 hours following the event. And anyone who has experience with Flipper, um, that would be. So this 
So as I mentioned earlier, there are a few free festival opportunities and ways to get involved. Um, the kids art signs, which are the posters that the elementary school kids in Montclair drew about their movies. And it kind of helps let the community know that the festival is coming. So we are doing this tomorrow. There's two shifts and both have space still. One is meeting here at 11 a.m. and the other. Maybe very. Maybe our VIP get back stepping, which will take place the week of September 25th. That hasn't been posted yet, but if you're registered as a volunteer, you'll get an alert when those shifts come up and you can just sign up on the board. Distribution of our festival catalogs, which are the guides that are going to be in storefronts and restaurants and businesses all over town and basically the you know, our way of letting everyone know what we're doing and, and who all of our partners are. So that's really important as well. So just a few things about what we expect of our volunteers. We expect you to arrive on time for your shifts and to give us notice and let us know if you're unable to come to your shift, dress appropriately in your film festival t-shirt, unless other the mask requirements and do your best to keep yourself safe as well as everyone around you. Don't plan to see the movies that you're when you're volunteering, but come back and see other ones, please. And we're just tickets. <laughs> um, treat everyone with respect and kindness and be patient and have fun. We have what you can expect from us. You can expect a positive, friendly, respectful atmosphere. And someone to help you if you have any questions with what you're supposed to be doing and what your responsibilities are. Notification if there's any shift changes to the and new volunteer opportunities. Our best effort to use your time wisely and keep all of you safe, as well as our guests. We will treat you with respect and you will have our deep gratitude and appreciation. And if some of you are veterans at this and have been using Shipboard for a long time, for other people who are new, um, it's pretty simple. In order to be a volunteer with us, you need to fill out the volunteer registration form and set up your account. Watching from home, you can go to this Shipboard link. However, the easiest way to um, find us is just go to our website, which is montclairfilm.org. Go to the volunteer tab at the top. And about halfway down, there is a link that says shipboard, and you just click on that and you fill out your registration. And then once you once I receive it and you're in the system, you will start receiving emails every time the ship is posted. And your ship is posted for volunteers. You can also just look at your calendar if you're new to the system and you want to see things that might already have been posted that you didn't get an alert about, and you are free to sign up for welcome. You're invited to sign up for those as well. And then you can manage your account. If you schedule, if you sign up for a shift and then your schedule changes, you can go back into your shipboard account and unconfirm your confirmed spot. Um, to check regularly to see if anything new has come up that you might not have noticed the email for. Um, as any time changes, which again, we will make every effort to let any volunteers who are signed up know of any changes, but you can also look for the calendar. You can watch for swag shifts, which are, I guess, what we put out when there is an urgent need for a shift. And it's an added incentive that we offer when you come to the volunteer appreciation party. There might be a table with some either items that were from a gift bag, from the gift bags, or that are from our partners and advertisers or month and film. So that's, if you see some shifts, um, it's fun for the volunteers and it also needs you really appreciate it. <laughs> Next. And we have special volunteer teams for the following. So operations and events. We have Monique here who is the team leader and anyone can, anyone who is here in person following 
is what the chat with her and sign up or ask any questions. Um, for the drivers, we have Chris. For photography, we have Kareem, who also handles our social media for Month Hair Film. And for niche marketing, some of you might know Jill, but you can go talk to Jill. I'm sure everyone wants to talk to Jill. <laughs> um, and if you're interested in being part of one of these volunteer teams and you're not here in person tonight, if you're on Zoom or you're watching the recording of it, you can just email the volunteer email address, volunteer at monthairfilm.org. And just put the name of the team that you want in the subject line, the simple operations volunteer team. And then in the body of the email, just include all your contact information, your name, your email, your phone number, and any relevant experience, like professional photography experience, or event production experience, and then send it on through and I will make sure that it gets to the appropriate team. If anybody has any questions that you want to ask to the group, you can ask. I will. Does that include um, vaccination? I'm sorry. Does um, quasi vaccine that include people to be, you know, we advise and again to be as current on your vaccines as you can be. Um, obviously, and that's another thing that we need to keep you all up to date. I, I believe that we are highly recommended. So, I recommend as well. Are we going to sign one class here? Says that we recommend. So, so I, recommend. I don't know the exact semantics, um, but. People will be made aware that for everyone's safety, we're at least. Lara, uh, some folks are having trouble hearing you at home. So oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, you just use the microphone. Okay. Anybody else have a question? I'm sorry if it was difficult to hear. Yes. Sign up for multiple groups of this of the teams yeah i would suggest if you have an interest in multiple ones speak to the team leaders and put your kind of name to them to those lists yes uh, yes no, my understanding is that as of now, that is not good. But thank you for pointing that out. So, like, if you want to see them, maybe, or like how much time you're going to have to sign up, like, oh, I want to work this. And um, I, I don't see. Yeah, no, I think if, um, if there's, if there's a lot of city, well, if you just buy a ticket and go see that movie, chance here and there, you can get to see a little bit of a movie, kind of depending on where you are, but um, never a guarantee. So if there's something that you're like, I can't miss this movie, I have to go see it, get to go see it, and then publish your volunteer efforts, and they'll be. Okay. Yeah, um, yes. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so 11 were meeting here. Okay. Um, and I can't remember if you were already signed up. Or just the member, but I will sign up. Okay, so if you can sign up that way, you're in the system. If you're going to volunteer, that way we can ensure that you get your credit for the hours you volunteer. But at 11 a.m., we're meeting here at 505. And at 3 p.m., Here or yeah, we have a question uh, from someone saying, how long are the volunteer shifts? 
they're not longer than three hours. Is that correct? Yes. No longer. And then we have another question saying, do we need to check VAX cards and require our guests to wear masks? Like um, here? I think that's the, I don't know if that's the same question that we just answered, but no, we are not, as of now, our protocol is that we will not be checking VAX cards for guests. We have another question asking, is it possible to work two back-to-back -back shifts on a particular day? Depending on the location. Oh, yes, it did have the same place. And that's something that like is not um Right now, the answer is that if there are two shifts that are back to back at the same venue, it's possible. But if that's something you're interested in doing, the best thing to do would be sign up for one and then you can email us at the, you can email me at the volunteer email address just to make sure that there's nothing um, that would make it difficult for those two shifts. But it is possible. And then we have another question saying, how do we deal with parking in town while distributing kids arts around town? Yes. So for the most part, the reason that we have two separate um, locations, the people who go to uh, to Upper Montclair and our meeting tomorrow afternoon will be distributing art in Upper Montclair. There might be some parking, but we also there. So for the people who are meeting here at Bloomfield Avenue, a lot of it will be in this general area and can be reached on foot. But there will there is Watch on Plaza and some of the um, stores on the south end of town. So there might be some need to drive if you have a vehicle. So I don't have any tonight. We are gonna we have a couple of plans times. Not to say that we will hit every get to go everywhere that to reach. So if you want, if you have places and you want to email me next week about where they are, if they're not places that have already been had uh, posters distributed, that would be very helpful. Yeah, personally, I just came into that time slot, but right after it, I would be available. Okay, so yeah, so I think we're going to stick to those times as an organized thing, but as I said, there might be additional needs next week, and those times haven't been set yet, so we can certainly, if there's a time that works for you and you want to do some, you could always email me at the volunteer email and you can see that we use the materials. Yes, the, the comment for those of you uh, that are not is that there also are places around in Upper Montclair that have free parking or even near here on um, North Fullerton. If you go a little further away from Bloomfield Avenue, there are spots where you can leave your car and not have to. The other comment was by Anderson Park when for the upper. Anything else? Oh, these comments about make sure to drop off catalog at Edgemont Park House, the de facto senior center. Okay. And uh, we have two individuals who are ready to volunteer to deliver kids' art um, to watch on Plaza. Okay, so you know, I are you able if you're able to sign up for one of the, the if you're able to sign up for one of the scheduled kids art distributions, which are again tomorrow or Saturday, that's great. If you're not, you can go ahead and just email me at the volunteer email address and say that you need to do anything additional that needs to be done to watch on the plaza, and that would be great. And I'll get to be able to let you know. Yeah, 
and I am really excited to work with all of you and to meet those of you that are not here in person. Don't hesitate to send an email, reach out if you have any questions, and, and sign up for shifts. And, and I'll see you soon. Yep. Yeah.